Hey, this is Trout Pit and Tips. Thanks for joining me. Let's talk about a precast pickup. Now, when you're fishing dry flies and your S curves run out and your dry fly starts to drag and skate and slide across the surface, it's time for the next cast. Now, if you could just reach out there and pluck your dry fly off the water, it would make no disturbance, you wouldn't spook any fish, and your dry fly could stay nice and dry all day long. Instead, of course, that dry fly is attached to a leader and then to a fly line, and both of, of those things are sort of stuck in the surface film. And if you go straight into the back cast, it'll often take the dry fly, the leader, and the fly line and sort of rip or peel it off the water. And that can certainly spook fish. Um, instead, you can do what I call a precast pickup. Uh, and that's critical for getting a stealthy presentation and for keeping your dry fly nice and dry. Uh, you need a precast pickup, so let's talk about it. Before we dig in here, let me tell you, there's a companion article on Trout Bitten about this called the Precast Pickup. Um, I'll leave a link up here and you can check that out. So when the cast is over, at the end of the drift, you'll do a lot better with what I call a precast pickup. It's sort of an artful activation of the line that gets everything moving up and out of the water instead of peeling it off the water or ripping it off. We're just gonna lift and go. So things that touch the water just want to sink, right? Your dry fly, your leader, and your fly line, they all want to sink into the water. Um, and you can get a new fancy fly line uh, with the, you know, impregnated air bubbles and shark skin texture, and that'll all help. Um, you, can grease your, you can grease your leader, and that'll help it to not kind of stick into the water with the surface tension. But what really, really does it for you is this precast pickup. Just moving the just moving the line before you pick it up right there. Let's sh let me show you a little closer. So as I'm ready to make my next cast, if I just kind of pull it off the water, it rips and peels off the water, not in a good way. That surface disturbance can absolutely spook trout, especially in this kind of water, in the flatter stuff, in the pools, in the glides. That disturbance is not a good thing. Ripping it off the water like that, that is not good. That's definitely gonna spook a lot of fish. From here, if I go straight into that back cast, you can hear it, you can see it just sort of peeling off the water. Now, sort of the most extreme example of this is when the fly actually goes under the surface, it gets dragged under the surface by the leader, which is under the surface, and the fly goes under and then it pops, just comes right back out. We've all seen that, we've all heard that happen. I mean, that's certainly spooking fish in water like this. All right, so this precast pickup looks like this. It's just a movement or an activation of the line before we go into the back cast. You can do it in a few different ways. Here, I'm just kind of mending, and then again, right into the back cast. Just gonna get the line moving, and then go into the back cast. You can kind of move it in a few different ways. First, I can just kind of pick it up, wiggle it, and then go. All right, let me show you that again. Let's say I'm drifting, I'm drifting, I'm just kind of wiggling that line just to get it moving. It lifts off the surface instead of ripping and peeling off. I'll do that wiggle again. I just wiggle it and pick it up. Punch it back in. Again, I'll kind of wiggle it and then pick it up. Another way is to just kind of mend. Throw a mend, but don't let the line sit back down. I'm gonna mend and then go. One more time on that one. I'm drifting, I'm drifting, and just kind of mend and then pick it up, right? And another way, you can kind of roll it forward. If, you, if you've recovered a lot of line, you could let some of that out, roll it forward, pick it up and go, right? Just kind of roll it, pick it up and go. Punch it back in. Again, the real key to this is after the activation of the line, well, keep it moving, go right into the back cast. Do not pause. So here I am again, picking it up and going. And I want you to see uh, the way that fly can just kind of lift right off the water with the leader with very little disturbance on the surface. There we go, we're drifting, we're drifting, we're on the water. Just activate the line and pick it right up. I'm fishing, I'm fishing, I'm fishing. 
Maybe I'll do this mend again and go. That's a good one. Remember, if you start your dry fly cast without lifting the line off the water first, you're going to create some surface disturbance. Instead, try this precast pickup. You know, just kind of get the line moving a little bit and then go right into your back cast. Um, experiment a little bit and you'll find your way. It's just another thing that makes fishing fun out here. All right, fish hard, friends. Got a golf ball. That's how far we got last time. There's a river otter down there. Maybe. <clears throat> I want to talk about the precast pickup. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. <laughs> this year I did nothing for trout pitting. <sighs> Your fly runs out of S. I don't know where the fish go.